Hi, I am Atikur Rahman, a AWS Certified uh, Solutions Architect. Today, I am going, uh, I'm going to show you how to create, a, how to install Apache, PHP, and MySQL to an Amazon uh, EC2 instance. Uh, for this uh, tutorial, I have selected uh, Amazon Linux, uh, but I will create more videos on other OS as well, like Ubuntu and also Windows. So let's get started. I'm in my EC2 uh, dashboard area. So let's see, uh, I have already created an instance. So that is, uh, let me check if it's, so uh, there is no Apache server running, so it cannot be browsed. Then I connect it here. Okay, let's connect to the instance. Yeah, I'm connected. I've <coughs> copied all the uh, instance commands here. So let's run this one by one. It's taking some time to update those. So uh, uh, easily it takes one to two minutes time based on uh, based on your uh, <coughs> CPU and RAM capacity. Hopefully it will not take that much time. So let's copy the uh, my next uh, commands. Uh, this command will install, as you can see, HTTPD, that is Apache Server, PHP 7.2, and MySQL 5.7. I will create another uh, video for installing Nginx as well. So let's paste the commands and run it. Okay, great, so it's installed. Then I'm going to install some uh, extensions. These extensions are very useful, especially uh, if you are working with some sort of PHP frameworks, then these extensions will help you out. Then I go to start the Apache server. <coughs> okay, Apache server is started. Let's check, copy the instance IP, go to the browser. Yes, we have successfully installed Apache. So this is the successful message, as you can see, Apache 2.4. That's uh, one of our tasks is done. Then we need to ensure that this Apache server is uh, started when the server reboot is done. So we don't want to do manual install, start the Apache server when the server reboot is done. So that's why we set this configuration. Then we create our uh, same from MySQL. And we add a uh, group W and we uh, set that group to EC2 user because that's the default user. When you connect to an Amazon uh, Linux, then we set to Apache. That is the default user which is created by Apache. And uh, set the user permissions. Www.3 and then we set the search mode. We run some for files and folders. Then we have to start the MySQL server. Then we need to secure our installation. So here, <coughs> I don't like to use uh, the validated plugin. So let's say no. New password. Yeah, I'm going to set a new password here. I usually go to the strong password generator here and generate the password. enter the password remove anonymous users yes is allow root login remotely yes remove test database yes reload privileges table now yes all done perfect 
so uh, let me connect to the mysql server mysql then user local host select the root host local host password enter yeah, i have connected to mysql server so I go to the uh, default directory ML the file here index.php write some code basically I want to know the PHP information here page and it shows me I have installed successfully PHP 7.2.16 and I have also connected my SQL PHP MySQL I extension and be string yep, that's it then we have GD library okay um so this this is i think we have uh, finished successfully to install apache php and mysql to an amazon ec2 uh, linux hopefully uh, <clears throat> this video helps you to get started with a, a single ec2 instance i have some other videos uh, which is relates to how you can create a new instance and connect to the instance uh, and um, you can also do other steps over there. I will also create a new video for uh, setting up Nginx, PHP, and MySQL. So, uh, thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.